everyone. My name is Tim Satterthwaite, and I'm an interpreter here at Northern Tier's UKPIC program, our winter program here in the Northwoods. And I'm here to talk a little bit about some of the gear that you will be bringing up for your adventure up here. So first and foremost, the scout motto is be prepared. And of course, that's why we want to make sure you're bringing up all the right gear so you can be prepared to have a great adventure once you arrive up here. So we're going to talk about base layers first. These are the layers that are going to be touching your skin. And we're going to start with your head. So you're always going to bring two hats up here. One to wear around during the day that can get sweaty as you run around and shovel snow or play kickball. And then you want a fresh pair to change or you want a fresh hat to change into for the night. So you have nice clean head covering while you sleep. Next, we're going into your long underwear. The most important thing about our long under, we're bringing up two pairs of both tops and bottoms. And you want to make sure that these are not cotton. These layers are going to be your wicking layers. As you run around, you will get warm, you will sweat. And so your, your base layers are going to get wet. So they make all kinds of great base layers out there, non-cotton. We sell them here in our trading post. Um, so again, you want a top and a bottom for that. Long sleeve tops, long sleeve bottoms. Next, we're going to talk about your feet. A wise man once said, the key to happiness is a pair of warm, dry socks. And you guys are going to learn that during your expedition up here. So we recommend bringing two to three pairs of wool socks. I personally always bring a pair of wicking socks as well. That's personal preference. Um, these are going to keep your feet nice and warm. You can never have too many socks, so at least two to three pairs. Next, we're going to talk about what are called finger gloves. These are, or liner gloves. These are gloves that are skin tight, that you're going to wear all during your whole expedition out there. And these allow you to have the dexterity of your fingers um, while having them covered up so that your fingertips and your fingers aren't exposed to the elements. These are really important, um, and you want to bring two pairs, as always, um, because in case one pair gets wet or gets dirty, you can change into a clean pair. Now, it gets dark early up here in the Northwoods, and it stays dark. So, bringing a good headlamp is incredibly important as well. You want a good headlamp, you want to make sure it works, and of course, you always want to be prepared with a backup set of batteries. Because in the winter here, electronics do not love the cold, which means that your batteries will run out quite a bit faster here in the winter than they do in the summer. So you want to make sure you have that backup set. Also, you will learn to love the, the food up here in the winter. It's incredibly important in keeping our bodies warm. So you want to make sure you're bringing a cup, a bowl, and a spoon. Preferably plastic. The metal cup, bowls, and spoons obviously get extremely cold, especially cups. If you're drinking from them, they can potentially stick to your lips and to your tongue. So you bring in plastic cup, bowl, and spoon. Of course, just because you are in the North Woods does not mean that you get to forget about your dental hygiene. So make sure to bring a toiletry kit, toothbrush, toothpaste, whatever else you need in your regular toiletries kit. And of course, sunglasses to protect your retinas from the blazing winter sun. Um, up here in the winter, you are getting the double, the double whammy of the sun up in the sky as well as reflecting off the snow. So you want to make sure you're either bringing sunglasses or a pair of ski goggles to protect your eyes while you're out there. Now, of course, a sleeping bag. This is incredibly important. This is the bag that you will be sleeping into. This can be your regular summer bag um, or any old three season sleeping bag. This is going to be going inside of our cold weather sleeping bag that we will be outfitting you uh, from our bay post. And you're going to want to pack it all in some kind of bag. I personally use a stuff sack. Um, you are welcome to use any bag that is small. Um, the key is here we're not trying to bring big bulky bags as you go out on the trail. It's much easier to pack your sled. Um, in smaller bags or small duffels, anything that can hold all your gear in this. Now, when you return from trail, you're going to want to take a nice warm shower once you get on base. Trust me, this is a highlight of the trip for a lot of people. And so make sure you bring your shower equipment, bring a towel, bring some shampoo, some body wash, as well as that clean pair of clothes that you can change into as uh, for your journey home. So these are all the, this is all the gear that you are required to bring up. 
Next, I wanna talk about some of our recommended gear. This is not required, but it can really help improve your experience up here. First, we're gonna talk about the neck gaiter. The neck gaiter or some kind of face covering can be a balaclava, is great protection from the sun, from the wind. Um, this is a really, really useful piece of equipment to be bringing up. As well as a pocket knife, always useful um, for anything that you need. Summer, winter, it's always good to have a pocket knife on you. And I always bring up sunscreen as well. Sunscreen and chapstick. Between the wind, the cold, and the sun, your face, those exposed parts of your body are going to get uh, potentially pretty chapped. So you want to make sure that you are protecting your face and your lips. So these are those are our recommended items. And now I'm going to talk about, these are items that you can outfit from our Bay Post. However, if you have your own, you're welcome to bring them. And these are going to be our warm layers. So we're going to start with the tops here. So our warm layers, these are going on top of your wicking layers. We have a great video on our YouTube channel about our layering system here at Upic. I highly recommend you check it out. But you want to make sure you're bringing a fleece top or a wool sweater. Um, you can bring as many as you want. We recommend at least two um, because you can layer these up as many layers as you want until you're warm. So here's a fleece top. Um, another thing that a lot of people have are these puffies, these synthetic or, or down puffy jackets. Great source of heat that you are also welcome to bring up as your warm layer. Now, similar to your tops, you also are going to want to bring your warm layer bottoms. Same deal, fleece or wool bottoms. Bring two pairs. These are going to keep your legs nice and warm as you go about your winter activities. Also, with your hands, we outfit these fleece mittens from our, bay, uh, from our bay post, and these are the same deal. These are going to keep your hands nice and warm. If you have your own gloves, you are welcome to bring those up. And finally, we're going to talk about our outer layers. So, these are going to be your wind layer. Their most important function is to block the wind, to stop the wind from getting through and cutting through your fleece layers and making you cold. So on your bottoms, we just use a classic pair of rain pants. These are waterproof and most importantly, these are windproof. So just a nice, they don't have to be heavy. Um, the key is with these outer layers is that they, they break the wind. They, they stop the wind from going through your system. And of course, your top, your top wind layer. This is an anorak. This is a one piece kind of pullover. This is what we outfit at our bay post as well. Um, but your outermost layer, the most important thing is it just needs to be windproof. With your gloves, we have the same deal at our bay post. We outfit you with a pair of wind or waterproof liners for your fleece mittens. And last but not least, we have our boots. Boom. These bad boys are going to keep you nice and warm. Um, they are boots. They have a removable lining here on the inside. These are Sorrells. They're very high. They're, they're high quality boots. Um, any boots that you have tried and tested on winter campouts, you are welcome to bring up if you know that they keep your feet warm. Otherwise, the Bay Post has you covered with these, with these guys. Um, these are a really incredible piece of gear, and they're going to keep you nice and warm through your adventure. This upcoming winter, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we have a couple of requirements as you come onto base that are different than past years. Every person that comes up is required to have two face coverings, and that can be either a buff or it can be a pre-manufactured mask, um, as well as a bottle of hand sanitizer for every crew member. So the most important thing with our face coverings is that when we put them up, they need to cover both your nose and your mouth. So please make sure you bring up two face coverings as well as a bottle of hand sanitizer per person. And we have pre-manufactured face masks in the trading post for purchase if you need it. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and enjoy your trip up to Northern Tears UPIC program. Thanks guys.